Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Spector. Uh, I practice otolaryngology, head and neck surgery. Okay. My name is Dr. Melvin Field, and I'm a neurosurgeon who specializes in minimally invasive brain surgery. Dr. Field and I um, uh, perform endoscopic approaches to tumors that line up along the uh, uh, skull base. So the cases uh, uh, typically start with both Dr. Field uh, and me at the patient's bedside. Um, we will look at the imaging and, and plan both the CAT scan, which gives certain details, for example, the bony anatomy, the MRI that gives details of the soft tissue anatomy and details of the tumor itself, looking at vital structures that are around that we need to consider, um, vessels, nerves, things of that nature. Uh, as far as uh, the initiation of the surgery, um, I'm usually uh, doing that uh, on my own um, to, to begin the nasal approach. Uh, and, and that is a matter of uh, removing some anatomy. It's really interesting, the sinuses are a bit like rooms. They have these, wind, these doors into the room, or these, we call them ostia, the mouth that opens into the sinus. And so we go into those natural ostea, uh, typically into a sinus called the sphenoid sinus. We make use of the natural opening and then we expand it almost as if you're going to take the front wall off of the room in a renovation project. Do some other things of that nature so that Dr. Field can see uh, what he needs to see and have the range of motion with his instrumentation uh, to access what he needs to access. Yeah, I think basically these, these are approaches that we do. They're all done uh, essentially through the nose. Um, and they involve problems that occur essentially from the forehead all the way down to behind the mouth. And um, they involve what we call the skull base, which sits at the, at the bottom of the brain. And it's between the eyes um, and uh, under the eyes, or basically the areas that we're working at. And um, through these little channels that we call the sinuses, we can get to all of these areas without having to make any incisions on the skin, um, and usually without even having to touch the brain. We consider this team surgery. Um, there's a benefit of having two different disciplines trying to work on a common problem because it's two different perspectives. Dr. Spector is constantly thinking about how to preserve anatomy, how to make sure that different things work properly once we're done. And sometimes our, my goal is more of how do I get to that anatomy? How do I remove a problem? And so we, we kind of use his skill set to help preserve things and, and he's using my skill set to help in terms of getting there. And I think that complements things very well. Um, I think our patients do well with that. It's, it's much better than having us do it on our own. Um, there, there's no way that I could do as good of a job as what he does on my own. And I, I would probably say he probably wouldn't be able to do what I do on his own either, but together I think we, we accomplish a very good job for these patients. For sure.